So I'm a second generation American, which means my parents immigrated here um, from Egypt. So I'm Egyptian American. Um, and I was born here. Um, and so growing up, this made for an extremely bicultural upbringing. Um, my parents moved from Egypt out of oppression from Islam. Um, and so they were Christians growing up, but um, it was a Muslim country. And so that made for um, super persecution just their whole lives. Um, so growing up in the United States looked like attending an Egyptian church of about 100 people. Um, it was all in Arabic, Arabic worship, Arabic sermon, Arabic PowerPoint slides, and everybody spoke Arabic all the time. <laughs> um, so also growing up, I attended an American church. So Sundays were this crazy thing of church and church. Um, my parents are worship leaders and led in the Arabic church for my entire life. So I was really engaged in both communities. I learned two cultures, two languages, two different ways of worship. Um, English church was extremely time-oriented um, and ideologically individualistic, while Egyptian church was extremely community-driven, having no sense of time. Um, I learned to accept and love both of these for what they were. I appreciate... Um, the value of time orientation in the English church, but I also value and love the lack of time boundaries in the Egyptian church um, that allowed us to spend entire Sunday mornings, Sunday afternoons, and Sunday nights um, together and build fellowship and community and family. Um, as a result of constantly being in and out of different worlds, I gained cultural fluency. Um, this means that uh, I became proficient in quickly learning cultures and adapting them. Because of this, I have an interest in and a genuine curiosity about other ways of life and worship. So why is this important to you? Well, first and foremost, I've gained a deeper understanding of the diverse picture of heaven. Um, we talk about Revelation 7, 9, where every nation, tribe, people, and language brings salvation to God. And they're not standing like as one tribe, they're different, and they bring salvation to God, and he is pleased. Secondly, it's helped me love others better because I can gain um, a more comprehensive and deeper understanding of them um, and their lives and how they feel because of their backgrounds and the culture. So consider, having your, consider the value of having your life enriched by the diversity of the kingdom of God. Um, consider learning other um, cultures so that you can understand and love others um, more richly and enjoy the body of Christ to the fullest. Um, so that's a little bit of my story. And I'm Melody and I'm made in the image of God. We hope you enjoyed this message. Biola University offers a variety of biblically centered degree programs ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Learn more at biola.edu.